all of that, let's get the latest from the Bronx. Justin Shackle is in for Meredith Morakovitz with the Clubhouse Report presented by your local Ford stores. And Justin, whatever you have in your report, we just want it to be sunny and 75. We want to believe that, so please make it that way. Bob, the closest I am to a weather expert, this is what I could offer you. About an hour ago, there were seven tractors holding down the tarp. Now there's one. So the eternal optimist in me says that we play a full nine here this afternoon. Uh, of course, the Yankees said that we will not be starting on time, but they do not anticipate a long delay here. And you and Jack touched it on the top. We have a great pitching matchup once we do get going. Carlos Rodon for the Yankees, Zach Gallen for the Diamondbacks. And for Rodon, obviously not the first season here in the Bronx that he had envisioned. This will be his 13th start. His ERA sits just under six, but he's starting to look like his familiar self, or at least the pitcher that we had been seeing the last two years when he was with the Giants. Over his last stretch here, five of his last six starts, he's allowed three runs or fewer. He pitched into the seventh inning last Sunday in Pittsburgh, went six and two-thirds there, and struck out a season-high 10 batters against the Pirates. He has 19 strikeouts over his last two games. And I asked Aaron Boone this morning, what has led to more consistency? with the Yankees left-hander probably just more consistent in his delivery and getting to the lanes he wants to get to um, consistently um, you know, I feel like stuff wise they've been really good especially his last start was pretty electric um, you know it's had a presence with his secondary pitches which has been important um, but I feel like he's throwing the ball well and for the most part now getting it to where he wants like you watch him in Pittsburgh last time and it was, you know, it was the Carlos Rodon stuff you've you've been seeing the last couple of years that's made him dominant. Um, so that's been really good to see. Um, but it starts with, with delivery and, and being able to execute where and how you want. But certainly, you know, having enough of a presence with the secondary that allows the heater to play even more is important. And I know Zach Allen struggled a bit lately. What kind of challenge does he present for this lineup yeah he's really good um so you know he's he's kind of he's their ace um and you know has had some ups and downs recently but uh but you know he's very capable and 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 obviously you know they've moved him to make sure he pitches here so they can pitch him as much as they need to down the stretch Zach Gallen sits under just uh, just, sits just under 200 innings for this season, and he is among the top 10 in many pitching categories in the National League. But he slipped up a bit here as the D-backs continue to contend for one of those wild card spots. Gallen has a 6.37 ERA over his last six starts, and he's going to be facing a lineup that has DJ LeMayhew back at the top. DJ had Friday night off. He's back in the leadoff spot. He'll be followed by Aaron Judge, who is DHing, and then you take a look close to the bottom of the lineup more of that youth that we've been seeing and I keep going back to what Aaron Judge said to me on the field after his three home run performance Friday the bottom of the lineup was taking consistent at bats they were working counts they were putting the ball in play being aggressive he said when you do those things when you're aggressive and you make contact and you force pressure on the defense good things happen so in the outfield we'll see IKF in left Esteban Floreal in center and Oswaldo Cabrera in right field and among those uh, among that approach here specifically with Floreal Aaron Boone was talking about him this morning he said that he is showing better improvements at the plate showing that he's made strides as a player he feels like he's working at bats more consistently that's the lineup as for a couple of injury notes, Jose Trevino was in the Yankees clubhouse this morning. He's making his way back from wrist surgery. Trevino said he's going to be hitting in a couple of weeks, and he should be good to go for spring training. And Frankie Montas pitched in his second rehab appearance for AAA Scranton last night. He tossed two scoreless innings. I asked Boone if Montas could be on the mound for the Yankees before the end of the season. Didn't exactly rule it out. He said it's something that the team is discussing as we look ahead to the final week of the season, Bob. All right, we'll see if that happens and we'll see what time the game begins and when it does we'll see you Justin with Michael Kay and Paul O'Neill.